if George Washington and Abraham Lincoln came alive from the dead and they formed a president, vice president team, you would beat them by 40 percent. Watch as Trump paints a very confusing picture of the U.S. and its history. Abraham Lincoln, of course, if you negotiated it, you probably wouldn't even know who Abraham Lincoln was. Uh, he would have been president, but he would have been president. He would have been he wouldn't have been the Abraham Lincoln would have been different, but that would have been OK. You know, and it's not just him. The entire Republican Party is engaging in these lies about our history. What was the cause of the United States Civil War? Well, don't come with an easy question or anything. I mean, I think the cause of the Civil War was basically how government was going to run, the freedoms and what people could and couldn't do. What do you think the cause of the Civil War was? Whether or not people could own others in servitude. Yeah, that's reasonable, right? The worst part, diehard Republicans will accept these lies without any questions. What was the cause of the Civil War, the U.S. Civil War in the 1800s? What was the cause of the Civil War? What do you think the cause of the Civil War was? Uh, I don't know. What would you say is the cause of the Civil War? The Civil War? What caused the Civil War? Huh. Um, they mostly, I'm thinking of, of the first war when we became Americans. And then we had a Civil War. What do you think caused our Civil War? Sin, I suppose, you know. There was something evil. Mankind is hard on each other, man. Yeah. And what do you think, sir, was the cause of the United States Civil War? Of the Civil War? Well, let's see. The North and South, they couldn't get along. It could happen here, too. Do you think we're near that? Near what? Do you think we're, we're getting toward a Civil War again? Uh, the good Lord only knows, but I think, you know... If he, if he thought it was going to end up this way, people were supposed to get along, aren't we? We're all Americans, not just Democrats and Republicans. If he were to lose again, what would that mean for the country in your estimation? We'd have an uprising. There's too many people that are ready to go now. When you say, what, what does that mean? Can you be specific? Civil war. Civil war. You think it'll be a civil war if Trump loses again? Oh, yes. I do. I know with people that I talk to, I'm, I'm a churchgoer, and I love God more than my life. But there are things that I do for God that I don't do for anybody else. And this is one thing I know that God needs some help here. Just can't fix their lips to tell the truth. It's sad, isn't it? You know, discomfort with the truth isn't a recent thing either. White Americans literally rewrote history right after the South lost the Civil War, renaming it the lost cause. Doesn't that sound beautiful? They put up monuments of traitors everywhere so school kids would never learn the truth about their country's commitment, real commitment to slavery, racism, and such a moral behavior. The GOP is a huge fan of this pseudo history because it's easier for them to promote this fake American tale to those who haven't been fully indoctrinated. But if you really analyze what happened in the aftermath of the Civil War, both sides are to blame. Northerners, or winners, allowed the lies to fester and spread. Why would they do that? Because of discomfort, too. They just wanted America whole again, no matter the cost, which meant it was time to look the other way. As the Southern Daughters of the Confederacy, the original Karens, <laughs> flagged school books that contained the truth, and they rewrote others. And enslaved people were either kept in the dark not even knowing they were free, tricked into being sharecroppers, but of course, never seen the money they worked so hard for, or turned loose with nothing, not even hope. You know, it does suck to analyze all that, doesn't it? But it's necessary. Look, not all Americans want to travel back in time and live this disgusting narrative again. But some of those same people still believe it's time to make America great again, by avoiding what's true, they're the ones who say, why does everything have to be about race? I say that's a good question. Why does it? 
Do we have to keep talking about this? Yes, we do. Because America is still running on racism and not just the fumes. And the more you talk about the truth, the less lies members of MAGA and the Republican Party will be able to spoon feed you about our past.